Hi, yeah, my name's Steve Ellis. I'm the second year on the podiatry course. Why did you choose to go into your profession? Um, my last employment I didn't find very rewarding, um, so I decided I needed a change of career. Um, I looked at various um, health professions as part of um, a course that I did after my employment, and podiatry for me ticked all the boxes. It's quite a varied um, career. You've got lots of different um, areas that you can go to, such as you've got wound care, biomechanics, um, nail surgery, general surgery, um, muscle skeletal um, assessment and, and so forth and you can sort of specialise in any of those. Um, what also um, appealed to me is you can also work with the NHS and you can also go private or you could do a bit of both if you wanted to. Um, also I looked at that as a way that um, you know you do get some appreciation after you've treated the patient. Um, most people that um, you know I've actually treated are quite happy what I've done and appreciative and, and very thankful of what you've done because you do get the opportunity to improve people's quality of life really. And why is it important for males to be represented in your profession? Okay, I think um, you know the dietary petition isn't seen as either male or female. However, I think um, you need to have both a male and a female perspective on most health things because it gives uh, different skills, different approaches and different attitudes to um, either your approach with people, possibly the, the way you treat people, the way you probably um, maybe do your health care plan and so forth. And some people um, don't like to be treated by one you know, male or female, so it gives them a bit of um, um, opportunity and also a choice really. Um, and what would you say are the best things about your course and career? Um, well, it's as I say, it's very, it's very interesting, very rewarding. Um, once you're qualified, you um, have the opportunity to work in either in the NHS um, for a private or both. As I said, you can go abroad. There's quite a high uh, need for podiatrists in uh, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore and even within the UK it's quite a high um, employment rate compared to something like um, physiotherapy or so forth um, but um, there's lots of opportunities out there I think in America it's like ranked as one of the top 10 professions um, that uh, people chose to be. Did you study any qualifications before? I uh, say so, um, after I left my employment I decided I needed to retrain so what I did is I did a foundation degree in sports science and injury management um, which is very um, physiotherapy based um, and I also did um, an AS level in human biology um, but I also had previous qualifications at the Open University in science and so forth so um, it was really just um, um, I think to retrain but that term sports science and medical was actually part of the University of Plymouth because um, I'm one of the uh, sort of like satellite colleges of New York. And is there anywhere in particular that you see yourself working in the future? Um, I would say I'd like to do a bit of both um, to work for the NHS and and um, and private. But you can also go um, what they call domiciliary works, so where you sort of work out of. Um, uh, you sort of go around visiting people in their homes and stuff. That's another op option, but um, I mean, you, you're well to your oyster really once you've sort of qualified. And part of the course as well, after the second year, if you, you qualify, you can also go in as a, what they call band four into the NHS as a foot care assistant. So you don't actually have to complete the course to um, use it in employment. Cool. Um, and finally, why did you choose to study at Plymouth University? Um, I think Plymouth is a really nice city. You've got a good mixture of you know the city life, where you've got nightlife, you've got all the shops and entertainment and that. But you've also got um, the countryside's quite close. You've got Dartmoor and so forth, and also you're very close to the seafront with Plymouth Hoe, and you know, and, and all the sort of sea life really, and the beach, which is obviously a big appeal, especially if you like sailing or any water sports and stuff like that really.